Okay. So let's start again. So next presentation, uh, it's about gaming. Nothing serious, just uh, fun at first time. Um, I want to. Oh yeah, okay. So, uh, in briefly, we go through these topics. Um, first of all, we look for uh, a past. What's happened in the past in the five in the last five years, and then uh, we look uh, look around. Uh, what's happening? Uh, now in the gaming world and the Linux world and then let's see the future uh, after that we look for uh, how this all gaming topic started in my mind uh, and uh, how can I do that uh, why I do that and what will happen in the future uh, we check the requirements, that's the most uh, uh, hard part of the gaming. Let's see some open opportunities and uh, some details. For example, Vine, Steam, DOSBox and any other games. So, uh, yeah, fast. The old thing uh, started five years ago when I uh, start to play games on Linux and uh, it uh, wasn't an easy thing because uh, there are no games which uh, is running easily on Linux I always need to hack something on, on the system but, but now, as you can see, uh, there are many game engines which are growing. Uh, the developers uh, take attention about Linux gaming, so they release Linux binaries for their games. The big game studios uh, get these developers in one group and they give, the, give money to develop a new game we have uh, Steam, of course it's going and uh, uh, many of games you can find in it more than uh, 3400 games in Steam and of course, the Linux GPU drivers are mostly equal with the Microsoft drivers. That's uh, sorry, that's true uh, for the uh, true, but true for the Nvidia drivers only. I don't know the AMD drivers. Of course, we have a building and Linux system. So, for example, Fedora. Yeah, the future. The future is. Uh, not written yet so we decide what will happen if we want to play games on linux then let's go do it that's all how did it started uh, once i checked usually i check the uh, red hat page and i found uh, fedora core operating system I download it, install it, and I start using it. And it was a fantastic. It, it it is a fantastic system. It's working. Everything is bleeding edge on it, so it's no problem with it. Okay, uh, I decided I want to play some games. I found uh, easy games, for example, Mario or or Pong or the. Uh, easily installed games but it's not enough so I look for uh, how can I run a Windows game 
and I found mine. So I try to configure it and uh, fetch some uh, code and uh, I can run Windows games on Linux. And that was the first step for me to join this uh, Linux gaming stuff. What's our goals? As we know, the Linux desktop here is nothing on the door in this year. So it's not too far. But we know we have more doors in the next year. So there will be more knocking on the door. <laughs> so, but we are waiting. <laughs> uh, the other important thing is uh, Insta operating system, uh, Insta Fedora operating system, uh, most of the PCs. Uh, I think this is a good thing. Fedora is a working system and everything is working on it, any program. And of course we have workstation, server and cloud system with Fedora, so you can try on server as I do, as, as I did, and I do. And uh, of course, the entire workstation with different VMs. And of course, we have a very variety community. So if you need help, then just ask or write an email or keep in touch in IRC and you can get help. And the most important thing is uh, distributing in schools. Uh, but uh, this topic uh, was yesterday, yeah, from Giannis Constanti did this. Okay, I almost got it. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> so, this is an important thing because uh, the habits, habits are important. And the kids uh, use Linux, then they want to use Linux after five years. So, this is important. And of course, game is important too. And the last one, last but not least, is fun. Because we love the fun thing. Mm. OK, why it is neat? Um, yeah, as I say, the games are the part of the Linux desktop. Uh, with games, we can easily distribute Fedora. And if we distribute Fedora, then we get more contributors who may be uh, translate, programming, developing, or again, con uh, distributing Fedora. So it's a circle. Uh, the any other thing, as you can see, we can do on Fedora. So I think the Fedora desktop here is here. Okay, why choose Fedora? Because it's very expensive. All of my money going to eat something, but not for the operating system. So, I spend the money somewhere other else. And of course, there are many extraordinary people who can good for many things uh, and, uh, and of course our friends so it's important uh, anyway who use Fedora here everyone I think <laughs> good okay <laughs> Windows Windows <laughs> now, uh, sometimes they said uh, Mac OS X or Something like that. So, okay, Fedora is a shiny third distribution, so so you can uh, do it, do everything on it, and it looks very, very, very good. And of course, you can install it easily, just few, just a few clicks. Um, yeah, as I know, we need a operating system with 3D support, uh, kernel. Wine and GPU driver source if you want to patch it for the latest games. Uh, and I suggest you download the GPU driver from the developer's homepage. Uh, 
uh, you can install it from with DNF, but uh, uh, there maybe there is some modification in it and it's not working all of the games with that driver. And you need you need to decide to use the closed GPU driver or the open source. Which one is better? Uh, I bet the closed one. Sorry, that's working better. Uh, what I know, NVIDIA uh, give uh, developer to the open source uh, group, and now they work together. So maybe the open source driver will be better. Few years ago, few years later, I don't know. Yeah, the sensitive thing is the hardware requirement. Uh, <laughs> the gaming is, is an expensive game. So if you want to play games, the latest games, then you need a good hardware. You decide AMD 80 or NVIDIA. I prefer NVIDIA, as I said. Uh, and of course, you need minimum Intel 5 or Intel 7 processor. Uh, the RAMs is the is depends on your packet. It's much more than much more better. So, but it takes time. So you decide you want to play on Linux or not. Okay, um, we can install games uh, with DNF easily. Uh, we can play native games uh, from the developers. We can play games with emulated environment. We can run Windows games on Linux with Vine. We can buy games from Humble Bundle. We can use Steam Linux for games. We can use Desura for Linux for games. <laughs> and we browse Kickstarter from some of Linux games, but it's not uh, not a really good uh, source for gaming. And of course we have Fry Engine, Unreal Engine, Unity 1 and 2, and Unity 3D for Linux. So we have a bunch of games and games engines on Linux. Let's see. Yeah, this is the most uh, native common DNF install and the game name. And you get the basic games. Not a Big deal. Okay, you can buy native games from the developers, as you can see. Uh, but better if you look for it in Steam. Emulated games. You can run those games, for example, Lost Vikings, or Dune, or Aladdin, or Lion King, with those boxes. This is an easy one, too. Or you can play cabinet games. Uh, do you know what's that? Everybody knows? Somebody knows that? Yeah, when you put the coin in the machine and you play with <laughs> some games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this uh, game was my grandmother's biggest enemy because I get my money. Please, please give my money. And then put the machine and <laughs> gone. All money is gone. Yeah. Okay, you can use uh, Sony PlayStation Emulator 2. Easy to install with DNF. Uh, the BIOS is not uh, really legal in Europe. So you decide you use or not. <laughs> okay, you can play. Play Windows games easily. You can install Wine with DNF or from source, and you can use that command Wine and the program name, and then you can play 3A ranked games. That's the point. It's not a hard to do it. If you are a programmer, then you can debug the Wine message, and you can join a Wine group. Wine have a, has a configuration tool, it's called Wine CFG. There you can uh, set uh, application separated uh, settings. So you can select the Windows version 
or the graphical option or the found option for the application. And they have a right, registry setting, so you can edit it. Uh, but this is an important link. Here you can set the 3D options separately for the app program. This is important. Okay, if you are not really happy about this uh, hacking, then you can download Play on Linux. It's a GUI interface. Uh, it's predefined uh, Vine prefixes uh, uh, included in this GUI. So you need to just install the game and run the game. That's all. Okay, humble download. Pay what you want and you get more than one game in a package. Uh, ever? Is there somebody who ever tried this? Yeah, and it's working. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Once I have a problem with that, uh, uh, I send the money and I don't get the link. So I need to contact with the staff and uh, so it's okay. It's okay, but it's not really good. I think. Yeah. The good thing is that there are also no DRM for Linux, so that's quite Yeah, of course. I think there is no DRM. All games only look on DRM-free. But it's in the DRM. Yeah. yeah. Steam. Oh, Steam, Steam, is Steam is the DRM. Steam is the DRM. Yeah. Ah, you can, re you can run without Steam, the game, from command line. So you don't need to, st you don't need to use Steam. You just need the uh, know the application directory and the application name and the game ID, and you can run it. So right. anyone playing the game just has access to the Steam client. Yeah, it's no. the Steam binary. Yeah. Okay, I run Metro. I I I need to run Metro Plus Lite without Steam. And it's working. But there is no online play after that. Sorry. But there isn't any online play after that. I don't know because I played single player mode. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pretty sure it works with Steam binaries. So. Maybe I don't know. Okay, Steam for Linux. <coughs> yeah, it's uh, as I said, it's developing uh, very hard, many games in it, uh, and it's a full, uh, full of extra options in it. For example, they it has a bet system. And uh, of course, you can chat for your friend with your friends, and you can buy new games. Uh, the problem is you can easily send send your money because uh, five or six click, and you <sighs> and you spend maybe fifty euros for a game. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, how we can install Steam? Uh, we have three versions for that. For example, you can install uh, <coughs> YAM or DNF uh, from Spot repository, or you can download it from the Steam homepage, uh, extract the zip file or convert it to RPM and then put everything in a uh, good place, good directory and then run Steam. Or you can install it from RPM Fusion repository. So it's, it's a piece of cake. Uh, yeah, the other option, you can, you can install Steam uh, for Windows with Vine. So you can run Windows games uh, on Linux. Uh, so, this is the step. First, you need to install Vine from source. Then install Steam with Vine, with this option. Uh, and you need to use Node the right option, because then you not have uh, characters in the Steam window. And then you can play Windows games. Of course, you need a uh, 3D acceleration on your PC, so this is necessary. Okay, we have Datura. Datura is uh, almost the same like Steam, 
but uh, this program is not really concentrate the big names uh, mostly the smaller developers and uh, independent developers so it's it's good for small games smaller games and of course it's uh, developed by with chromium embedded uh, framework okay the kickstarter project uh, all of the developer get money from the public and if the developers uh, can't uh, make it in time or the goal then they not get the money so it's a uh, little bit a strange thing but it's working okay we have Angel engine developing fast uh, last year was uh, 4.1 version and now we have 4.8 uh, as you can see uh, uh, yeah the last uh, first demo what I show you this uh, was made with this engine so it's working uh, so they just looking for companies who needs this engine we have Cry engine 2 so uh, and this message what you can find on the home page they uh, also looking for companies uh, and developer for the engines so I think uh, it's the gaming stuff is working on Linux and of course we have Unity and Unity 2 engine uh, some of the games are working with this engine for example Overwatch or the Cradle and Tristan Dilogus is made on Windows only what I know but they uh, not uh, develop only uh, games uh, they use it for uh, simulation programs and of course we will have a Steam box uh, many of the companies uh, as you know the Steam box running uh, Debian so what if they running Fedora you can imagine that because uh, I wrote an email to the uh, one of the uh, companies and they said they need to test it so if we can make a good and working stable Fedora system they, they can test it on their hardware which company was that? it's a secret no really <laughs> I, I don't want to share it because it's, uh, it's too um, so I don't want to share it that okay. information but if I have uh, the yeah. final uh, answer then uh, it's okay so uh, I think it will be a good thing if it's Fedora running on some of the machines okay let's go conclusion uh, games are needed to distribute Fedora it's easier especially in schools uh, there will be no more question uh, X Epsilon games run on Linux or not it's not gaming topic but it's important to solve LibreOffice and uh, Microsoft Office compatibility this is one of the problem to make Linux a desktop system and of course sometimes we need to fight the ball when someone tried Fedora because uh, I'm not sure a uh, basic uh, user can use Fedora with 3D acceleration and of course we can do this Fedora too so it's not impossible uh, the last event we just connect the mixer pad uh, on Fedora and use mix and we can use uh, uh, music mixing 
That's all. And it's worth it. Okay. Dilemma, what I have. You can help. <laughs> As I said, uh, I started this gaming topic five years ago. Uh, the last flock in Charleston started these uh, presentations. And what I see, the gaming stuff on Linux is working. So, as I said, many of game engines, developers, big names are coming to Linux. So, I think we reached that point which is okay for us. So, I want to drop the gaming topic for the next block or next conferences. And I have another one which called Dominate the World with Fedora. It's some kind of distribution topic which is connected to games but not really games related. So I want to uh, make a vote. Uh, may I drop the games topic? Please put your hands up. Or not. Drop the games topic. Okay. Yeah. I drop the gaming topic and the next, then the dominate the world with Fedora. Okay. We will be the next. Okay, drop the game topic. Yeah. Who else? Okay. 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 Or 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 I will have two topic. Oh, two talks. Mm -hmm. The next year. That's the <laughs> other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you can contact me in this uh, this addresses. Um, I will upload this presentation so you can easily find me. Um, and if you have any question, really easily, then just shoot me. Hey. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I try, but uh, please connect. Yes, thank you. And go back, please go back. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, I will want to show you some of games and demos. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So no questions. Then thanks for your attention, and don't forget to infinity and beyond, because that's important. So let's see the games. Okay. Uh, let's see another demo. It's called Elemental. It's uh, Unreal Engine. It's working with and it's working under an Unreal Engine. So let's do it. It takes some time by loading the textures. Oh, of course, uh, this laptop have an Optimus technology, so it have an Intel GPU and it have an NVIDIA GPU. So it decides which one is active. But now, of course, it's the NVIDIA. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's caching. Optiram, Bumblebee and Optiram. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's caching already. Come on. Okay, nice and. Whoa, it's slow. Really? <laughs> yeah. Double screen? No, I think so. Let's see, it's smaller screen because it's not really fast. Yeah, maybe it's better. Oh, it's slow. 
Ja, ist wirklich so. No. <laughs> But maybe I can disable this screen. That's quite slow. It's fine. Oh. One of the newest games, it's released on Steam, it's called uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Mordor. Uh, it have a, it have a um, testing yeah. feature, so we can test the settings. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, that's that's it. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Active as now in Linux gaming. This is the fourth game which are ported to Linux. So they working very hard in the nowadays. So It will be uh, 25, 25, no, there, 25 uh, frames per second. Yeah. Here is the actual. But it's very nice, I think.
similar to Hasselstein tree. So that was the ben benchmark. Yeah, and it says it's, it's uh, yeah, uh, 76 frame per second in the read. So it's, it's okay. And it's, I think it's beauty. So it's, it's very nice. Um, Sorry? The game? <laughs> we, we, the game? Yeah. Without mouse? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that was very... It's unplayable. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> so, um, I want to show this one. So, uh, there are many games which are running on Linux. Uh, I think it's... It, it has no no block things to to running games. So if you want to try it, you just need to know the steps that I present uh, in the sh in the talk, in the slideshow. You need a 3D driver, a good operating system, for example, uh, Fedora, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and a good hardware. That's the most bad part of, of, of all. Um, so any questions? Or everything is okay and yesterday or tonight everybody wants to play some games in the notebooks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then thank you for your attention. Thank you. Yeah, I'll turn on.